Hey everyone, Ian Stanley here from LGBTQ Connection in Napa, although this time I am representing an all-volunteer committee for Napa Valley Pride 2014. The real um, brains and leadership behind this is uh, Casey McConnell-Leon. She's the chair for Napa Valley Pride 2014. She's on a, a quick family trip to Mexico for fun and relaxation, which is awesome. So I'm representing on the video right now, but if you see Casey... If you see Casey around, please thank her for all the hard work she put in to lead uh, this year's 2014 Napa Valley Pride planning. Um, there is all kinds of stuff happening for Napa Valley Pride 2014. June 16th through 22nd, it kicks off on a Monday night and runs through a Sunday evening. Um, I'm going to keep it brief as possible. Go to NapaValleyPride.com for all of the details in case you miss it. So what's going on? Monday night is our Pride kickoff. It's going to be a happy hour at the Q in Bel Air Plaza in Napa. So check that out on Tuesday. Tuesday has a few events also. Pride night at Oxbow Public Market in Napa. Then um, there will be a Pride proclamation, LGBTQ Pride proclamation at Calistoga City Hall at their council meeting. Um, and also they'll be voting on putting up the rainbow flag. So it would be great to have folks show up to support and show how much it means to have our elected officials and local government um, be acknowledged that LGBTQ people that are our residents in, in Napa County. Um, there's a youth pride dance for youth ages 14 to 20 at River Point in Napa. On Wednesday, uh, support PFLAG. Uh, it's our local chapter of parents, family, and friends of lesbians and gays. They're having a pride pizza party at Mary's Pizza in Napa all day long and an ice cream social at Mariposa Ice Creamery right next door all day long also. Um, you can uh, find the flyer you need to download and then a percentage of your purchases will go to PFLAG and support the work that they do, um, support and advocacy for parents and family and friends of lesbian and gay, bisexual and transgender people. Thursday is Pride Happy Hour at a brand new spot downtown, Jack's White Mule Diner. Um, they're sure to have something fun and special going on in the afternoon. And then right here in our own backyard at LGBTQ Connection, we're having a backyard fogata. That's the Spanish word for um, a bonfire, fire pits. Um, we'll have music and free food. Um, on Friday is Big Gay Bowling at Crush Ultra Lounge at the Meritage uh, Hotel and Resort in South Napa. Uh, and Saturday is the cookout, the huge Pride family picnic at Crane Park in St. Helena. Uh, there'll be raffles and games and all kinds of fun stuff happening. It is a family-friendly event open to all ages. Saturday is a, um, also the Block Party of the Queer, a brand new event that we're doing this year at Slack Collective in Bookmine in downtown Napa, right near the, old, the skate park. Uh, they're showing the hometown premiere of Meet the Beavers, a film about Camp Beaverton in Burning Man, made by uh, local lesbian Beth Nelson. And also um, next door at the Bookmine will be a book signing from one of the founders of the Gay Dads Project. I hope I got that right. I think she's one of the founders, but it's a story about her dad that she wrote, and she'll be signing books there. In addition, Kristen Van Dyke, uh, will be performing with her band uh, afterwards. On Sunday is the last day of Pride, Sunday the 22nd. There's Big Gay Brunch at Compadres and also Napa Valley Pride's Big Gay Disco Dance Party in the afternoon featuring our very own Rotten Robbie. DJ Rotten Robbie will be there spinning. Um, and that is in, um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting it, the winery in uh, South Napa also. Tons of events. I rush through all that information. Go to NapaValleyPride.com for more information for all of the times and all of the details. And uh, this year is going to be a lot of fun. We had a lot of new people show up last year, so make sure you show up this year. Bring your friends. Meet some new ones. Uh, whether you're LGBTQ people, whether you're visitors or tourists or your allies and straight folks in the community, if everyone shows up, we'll have an amazingly great time. Happy Pride 2014, everyone. As you can tell, I'm so excited. I'm wearing sunglasses indoors.